Be careful. They want to assassinate you. Primate Ayodele warns Governor Autumn. The leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, on Friday warned the Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn concerning some of the things God showed him. Primate Ayodele revealed that God showed him an assassination attempt against Autumn. He warned the governor to be careful of his outings, while also stating that he should work on land and ethnicity crisis in some local governments in the state. The primate issued the warning in a statement signed and forwarded to Daily Post by his media office. Primate Ayodele also advised the governor not to decamp to the All Progressive Congress APC, urging him to move closer to God to avert evil occurrence that is about to happen in, on him. He said, Benue state government must be careful against attacks. He must be careful against accidents. I see plans to assassinate him. He must watch his outings as from now on. The state should avert ethnicity crisis and land crisis in APA. Obi, Oju, local government area. The governor is a very sincere politician, but they want to destabilize his government. He must be careful and pray not to cry over anyone in his cabinet members. He spoke on the forthcoming governorship election in Anambra State that the election would hold no matter the threat of any group. Hmm. Okay. Um, a word that says enough for the wise. Primitive Odile is not a new person in prophecy. It's not new in the message of God and also in the work of God. It's, uh, it's now left for Samuel Orton to listen or behave like um, his fellow politicians that will say, I beg, now lie. That is their own problem. To me, I will say that the message has been delivered. So if you like, if you should keep to it. If you like, you should not keep to it. But one thing I used to believe in the word of God is that the word of God is here and amen. When God says that this is it, this is it. When God says that, listen, you better listen. Many of our brothers today that are no more today, the same message was given to them. Uh, TV Joshua, that we, no see, we don't see anymore today, the same message was also given to him by his fellow men of God. Okay? <laughs> you see, um, in, in politics, in politics, we have to be careful. We have to be very, very careful. You have a lot of, as a politician, you have a lot of rivals. You have a lot of enemies. You have a lot of attackers. You have a lot of, uh, of criticizers. You have a lot of haters who doesn't want you to succeed. Who doesn't want you to succeed? Remember that um, aside from this very uh, aside from this very warning issued to uh, Samuel Autumn, Samuel Autumn on his own has escaped assassination twice, twice, even while with his entourage. That is to tell you that what Primit Elderly have said is the reality. It's the reality. They are plotting is killing. And yes, some Autumn is a very sincere governor, just like Primit Elderly have just pointed out. And that is why Nam Dikan is doing all within his power to see how to help him out. How to help him out and help him. But um, the, the fear... The fear of being falling out or or being dejected by his fellow brothers is what is making him to feel am I going to join them or something like that or am I do I listen to Nam the Kano or something like that? Nam the Kano has offered many many opportunities to help him out, you know, to save his state from this many crises, but. You will say no. Okay. 
you have yourself to 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 to, to, to you have any anything you want to do with yourself, you can have it. That is Namdekanu for you. And that is what Namdekanu is doing. Namdekanu has offered to help him by sending the Eastern Security Network to help him go after this criminal Fulani headsman disturbing his state. He said no. Namdekanu has offered to help him out to put an end to the many crises that has been affecting his own state. He said no. You see that? Now, even of, of, of recent, Eboi and Benue, some of Autumn states and Umayi states are on crisis over boundary differences. See, see how they are killing themselves. No, you go and see things to yourself now. You know what I'm talking about. Then you know that I'm not telling you. I'm not lying to you. So who knows if that is where the assassination is coming from? Is going to come from? Who knows? Nobody knows. And that is why he needs to heed to the instruction of this man of God. I expect some of to heed. I expect him to listen. Obey. He should not be like his fellow politicians. He should not be like his fellow politicians that are, are saying a lie. He should listen. He should listen. He should listen. He should listen. That is the only advice I have for him. Because not listening, I'm afraid, it's going to get it hot. I'm telling you. He should be wise. And play wise. He should not allow himself to be deceived. Do you understand? Yes. He should not allow himself to be deceived. He should be sincere. And be straightforward. He should keep on with the good work he's doing. Because I can see that the people of Benue are the people of, uh, of, of Benue are very, very comfortable with the system of government. Do you understand now? Okay, and you know, Benue being a, uh, a, a state of uh, agricultural produce, you know, the people, a lot of people rely so much on them in the southeast. So, it should be wise. Okay, um, as for the assassination attack, I will say it is a normal thing. You are in a political seat, and you know, being in a political seat it definitely will, will, will still be like a threat to so many. Your, the seat you're occupying is a threat to so many people. A very big threat to so many people. Many people are not happy that you are, you are where you are. They are not happy that you are where you are. So definitely they will come after you. They will come after you. They are not happy. Do you understand now? So let us be wise. Let us be wise. Let us not give them the space or the chance. You understand? Let us be wise. Let's say no to them. You understand? And that is just the truth of the matter. So, my good people in the house, with what, uh, with what uh, uh, primates Ayodili have just said concerning. Uh, concerning Samuel Autumn, I tell you there is fact in it. There is fact in it. So it's now depend on him. It now depend on him to either see it to be real or not. That's cup of tea. The message has been delivered. Do you understand? So please, I would still like to hear from you to know what you have to say about this so please don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated 